Hi, I am Martha Rack and I teach contemporary dance and pre education program. What I'm aiming to facilitate in class as a teacher is a space to explore, to question, first of all, and always through experience build an understanding for what is happening. Hi, my name is Antonia Cho. I teach jazz dance, even some technique, jazz pedagogy and theory of training. Why jazz dance uh, at Evanson International? Well, um, ever since Jessica Evanson has founded the school many years ago, she has based her training on three uh, pillars of dance styles, which was ballet, contemporary dance and jazz dance. Uh, ever since the students uh, or the dancers who have come out from the school have a um, very recognizable uh, way of moving and are adaptive and receptive to various styles. So even though our specialization is contemporary dance, we still keep jazz dance in the training because we believe that it gives a variety of uh, movement qualities and some basic movement principles that are later then translated into other dance styles. From uh, precise working with musicality, expression and uh, development of the character uh, to a certain precision of the movement that is asked from in the jazz dance class uh, gives our students a bigger variety of the movements that they can present later on as artists. Hi, my name is Pedro Dias. Um, I teach contemporary and within that um, improvisation floor and contact, I also teach Pilates. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of bunch of, of different um, things you can do with contemporary dance. And the way I like to see it is like a recipe of a cake. And it's basically what you put into this recipe that might change a long time. But what I find interesting is that you decide on um, what you like, what's difficult for you, and you start sort of putting it together. And then you take things out, you put things in as you grow. And this recipe is lifelong. Hi, I'm Emma Chenoit. I uh, teach improvisation. Um, I hold labs. I do coaching and creative discoveries. Improvisation helps for me to find this unique voice all the time. I see a lot of performances and approaches that are very much about the intellectual and how it challenges the performer or the audience intellectually, which I find very interesting. But I also feel that playfulness and humor and the ability to stay in the present and be in the present is equally important as the thought and the weight and the drama. Well, first of all, let's look at how ballet influences the structure of things as being a map, a map that uh, I can sort of uh, understand in a space and also about the control of myself. And this control somehow is difficult to achieve sometimes. And the struggle about it is actually the freedom it gives us and how we can put that freedom in, in terms of structure that we can put into the contemporary dance. Uh, it's a big plus also to learn to let go. And I think dance really requires that. Um, and it's definitely a concept to approach and, and to bridge together when you're working with dance. Another aspect of stability, Pilates. You bring Pilates and stabilize the center line of the body and then having this sort of place within you from where you can actually move. Also like looking at things like gyrotonic. Gyrotonic has a thing about uh, understanding a certain kind of flow, which we, we definitely want to have in dance and understanding the mobility and the freedom of your spine and all these spiraling and round forms. This is just so, so beautiful to see and often is what we'd like to see in movement quality. And sometimes it's difficult to sort of, how do I get in there? And gyrotonic F, I think, well, I feel it in my own self. I believe it gives you this possibility to, to feel what that means and sort of like bridge it back into your contemporary dance. I really look for um, a full-fledged performer. So it's not like I just only look for the movement qualities or forms and shapes, but I really want the students and the performers to be um, emotionally charged and to be in the present moment, because I feel that this is the high-end technique, how to say, to deconstruct history, 
form, narrative, professionalism. Just, let's just dig deeper, ask what, what is this? And not to give answers, but to ask questions. And yeah, I think these, these ideas forms a lot in the creative mind. And I wish back then I had more people telling me to really trust this process of self-discovery. The philosophy in the school is that before everything we are supporting the individual development of every student. Every student that comes to our school has a different background, whether it is the technical level or the dance style that they have primarily trained in their old schools. So first thing that we want to look at is that the, our program is um, adapted to every individual since everybody is different. Uh, in this matter, we put a lot of emphasis on correct technique and working within the predispositions what the student has been given. Um, in that sense, we try to, on one side, enhance injury prevention and on the other side also enhance their performance and allow them to unlock their fullest potential of what their body can give and what makes them unique as individual dancer later on when they go out onto the scene. So we have somatic approach which is actually the base to enter the communication with our body which then corresponds to the approach of injury prevention which is quite important for me, therefore, building understanding to protect our body, to build our body in a healthy way so we can use it as long as we want. And I believe this is something of a base from which I go, but also fascinates me always in, uh, in the performance of professionals uh, is um, a sense of awareness of what movement is or what it should be or uh, what are they trying to transmit with it. Uh, without practicing that daily, even through simple movement tasks, we cannot expect it will simply happen intuitively. Yeah? I really believe in building that sense of awareness, uh, building the sense of understanding, and then consciously, of course, investing uh, into that expression which we creatively then um, very much form as individuals through every process differently. Yeah? We learn from each other in the dance studio, so the students not only should learn, so to say, from us teachers, but also seeing different students with different backgrounds allows them to be as individual as they can be, and in that sense, develop themselves in the direction that is true to them. This is why with this broad range of styles that we are teaching here, and enhancing their individual development, we hope that we are producing strong artistic personalities later on who are owning uh, what they have been born with, what they have been trained before, and what then they have to offer as active participants in creative processes to the choreographers. I think it would be important to imagine it as a time to research what is possible, to research where is it possible to go with it and not to build pre-existing expectations about where will you end up as a dancer but to allow yourself to move through the education with um, a clear sense of experiencing um, every information you uh, you get and from there then building your way through a professional career where you can use your maximum potential, which maybe is something that will surprise not only you and in that moment, but also you as a future professional. Yeah, I would, I would suggest come, see how it feels like, see if this is something for you. It's a very open-minded space, feels like a family. It allows you to be yourself or actually invites you to be so. And I think that's really great. There is no sense of bullying here or you know, everybody can be what they are. And I think is what we really expect from an artistic education is that you have the space and, and the time and the support uh, to find in yourself whatever you need um, yeah, to be. That's it, really. Come and try it out.